What's up YouTube, we're back with another video and this is a special one because I'm going to be showing you how you can create viral short form content for your personal brand to make more money using AI. So it's going to save you time, you won't have to come up with any ideas and you don't have to edit it. So it's basically removing yourself from the process so you can actually focus on what matters um, in terms of getting more appointments and closing more deals. So I am going to show you exactly how I come up with um, ideas for short form content and then also the tool I use to basically edit it so it's completely streamlined and yeah let's just dive straight into it drop a like um, and let's do it so the tool that I am currently using to edit my um, short form content is called Submagic and I've tried um, multiple different tools out there I've tried Opus Clip and the problem with those ones is that the captions aren't the best and there's no b-roll footage so you can't really just have a video with no like b-roll in terms of what's playing in the background and some maybe some overlays in terms of yeah film burn and things like that to make it look really clean like it's been edited because with AI some of the problems is that you can tell it's AI and that is not what we want so Submagic is really good um, I'm not sponsored on um, this is just my tool that I use so if we click on a video I'll show you exactly how this works you can just upload a completely raw short form content like this where it's just me talking looks really boring um let's just call it i don't know ig or whatever and then we just click upload and it's just gonna add captions it's gonna add b-roll and it's gonna just do everything for us to make it look really good and it's literally one click so that's all you need to do it has finished um doing its thing and now you can actually get to choose from so many different captions so this is why i think it's better than all the other ones out there because if you click on like this one for example and let's just play Give me 30 seconds and I'm you can see how it's actually nice like fonts basically and it's a nice caption style like this likewise you can use like this one and it's also pretty decent and you can change the position of it so yeah i just personally like these fonts like way better compared to like the other ones and this is honestly just getting started because you can add b-roll and use ai to do b-roll which i'll talk about in a second but you can use yeah like Mr. Beast, um, Ali Abdul, uh, Homozi, which I think is a bit overused. I personally like the more Iman Gadzi style one like this. I think it's really clean and you can just upload this to your thing. Um, you can also change the color. You can do the size of it. You can do the position of it. So if you want it up, down, um, I personally recommend putting it near the neck because if it's near the neck like this, um, then what that means is they are, I mean, the viewer is more focused on your eyes and actually your face compared to if it was right down here. They can, you can kind of lose them if you know what I mean. So under like where the neck is is perfect, and I personally like this Eman font. Um, and now what you want to do is you essentially want to add B-roll. So you can do AI B-roll, which is magic B-roll. And if you click that, it basically just puts um, it uses AI to create B-roll in the background, um, which is decent. I personally use this, but then you can filter out. So you can just go down here, and you can see that. Um, like I don't know what it's put here basically but you, what I really like is it's actually added like film burn so if we look at this maybe let's go to this one and let's go I went on a quick trip and I made $2,200 so you can see that it has used um I'm trying to think where it's gone in the 2200 and this shows yeah. I literally spent barely any time so you can see how it has the like um I'm trying to think transition that's what I'm trying to say it's got the actual transition and it's got sound transition which is really nice between the b-roll footage and the normal footage so um that's just personally what i like about it and yeah you can see that if we just click on this and if you want a full breakdown of how i use this principle to make multiply figures per month as a 20 year old then just comment the word how and i'll send it to you for completely free so yeah you can see like it's actually good compared to all these other like tools which aren't good so um yeah it's as simple as that you just click save um, and then you can just export it and upload it to YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Instagram Reels, just all of them, to be honest, to get the most views. So now you understand that. Um, what I wanted to talk about now was how to actually come up with ideas that go viral. And if we look at your funnel, right, this could be the same for pretty much any social media. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I recommend having viral at the top because the problem with most people is they can't get enough people into their ecosystem and into their like just funnel if that makes sense so we use viral content to capture you know eyeballs at scale and then we nurture them with more middle of the funnel content 
which is just you storytelling, um, solving problems, but this content won't go as viral. And then we obviously close through call to actions and DM. So let's get into this. So in terms of content ideation, how to actually come up with ideas, um, what you want to do is for the viral part, which is how we get people to see you know, us and our brand, we essentially want to go to long form YouTube channels. So what you can do is you can go onto YouTube, you can go into your niche and you can just search for your competition who has created content on YouTube that has performed well on long form. And what that means is it's probably going to perform well on short form. So if we go down here and let's just take start a uh, story for an example, which is a YouTube channel that basically just covers um, like entrepreneurs and how they started their journey and how they scale to make millions. That's pretty much a summary of their channel. But if we like look at this, we can see that they've got a bunch of viral things here that have already done well. So we don't need to reinvent the wheel and try to struggle with ideation when we can look at what's done well in other mediums. So long form, we can look at Reddit, we can look at other platforms that has, have done well and performed well. And then, then we can turn that into short form to get views at the top of the funnel um, to bring people into our ecosystem and then they'll get nurtured, which I'll talk about in a second. So what we can do is we can just take um, the URL here. So let's just get uh, youtube.com slash starter story. Okay, so now I've just gone onto ChatGPT and what I've prompted it to do is to essentially just write 10 viral hooks using the YouTube channel below. So it's actually going to scrape the YouTube channel, which is starter story, which is what we were just on. And it's going to find videos and titles and then give it to us as hooks, basically. So if we just click enter, what, it, what you'll see is it's actually browsing YouTube. So it's really cool. Like you can see all of these like hooks that you could do um, and obviously you would speak from the perspective of the person that they're doing the story about but you get the point you can use AI to essentially create hooks and then you could tell ChatGPT to write the rest of the script for you um, and it would give you like a yeah really good script and obviously the more info you give the prompt the better the, res the response will be so obviously I've just spent like 30 seconds doing it but if you spent 5-10 minutes you would get a bunch of ideas that you can then just batch record um, and then use Submagic to basically yeah, edit it. So you can see how you can really streamline this and um, come up with really good ideas. So this is the first one of just taking proven long form or other, you know, medium content and turn it into your short form to get views at the top of the funnel. How this is how people come this is how people come across you and how people find you. So most people just can't get enough attention around themselves. So this is a great way to do that. And then nurturing, if we look at the middle of the funnel, we need to solve people's problems for free. And this is evergreen content that won't perform as well, um, but it will get people to know, like, and trust you, which is really important because there's people with 100,000 followers on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, but they can barely make 10 grand a month. Whereas there's some people like me who are really small creators. I've got a micro personal brand. Yes, I've got you know, maybe, I think, over 10,000 subscribers, but I've only got like a few thousand on Instagram. So and other platforms as well. So I'm a small creator, but I'm able to make significantly more because my middle of the funnel is dialed in. I start as you know as many conversations as I can. So I've got appointment setters, I've got automations, I've got the middle of the funnel dialed in basically. And people know me, they know my story, and I provide huge amounts of value to the market, like what you're watching right now. So this could be your story, it could be solving problems. What you wanna do is you wanna think about who you're helping and the service you're providing and then you basically want to think about what they struggle with and what your service is solving and then just make content around that. And it won't get as many views, but it will nurture people, which is what we're looking for. So you can have like, let's say 30% of your content can be viral content like this. And then 70% can be nurturing content to get people to know you. Um, and then all of the you know attention from this is going to be going towards a, um, a comment call to action. So for example, you would either say in your video at the end, comment the word meetings, and you would put it into your um, description as well. So for example, I've created a custom GPT to help uh, help build you an insane offer. And I'll, all you have to do is comment the word meetings, and I'll send it to you for completely free. People comment meetings. And as you can see, like 26 people commented. Um, and then what that means is it's going to boost the algorithm. So Instagram will think that there's more engagement. So it's going to boost it to more people. And you can use many chat or go high level to basically send them an automated DM to collect their information, which is really important um, because you should be building 
a newsletter, you should be building an, uh, sorry, a phone number list as well, um, because you don't really own like these social media platforms. Like my YouTube could go down, my Instagram could could go down, or the algorithm just you know couldn't be working well. But it doesn't matter because I've got actual emails, I've got phone numbers that I've collected. So no matter what happens. All of social media could fail, but I'll have actual email addresses and phone numbers I can call and email to make money. And that is really what we're doing here is we're collecting data from the attention we're getting. And that's really important. Um, so, yeah, email is where it's at in terms of converting as, uh, as well as phone numbers and the DMs, basically. And then for um, other content ideation, you can just have your repurposed long form. This is doing well. So, for example, um, you can see that. 2.1k and I don't get many views but once again I'm able to nurture my audience very well so yeah you can use videos just like this I'll probably put this into my Instagram and have that just as more content that doesn't really take me any extra time so um, and this I don't recommend doing the comment call to action because obviously it's already you know created just do a like and comment um, and that's what I recommend so that is basically what I recommend for ideation and it's really powerful so just to recap we get views by creating viral long uh, sorry viral short form content that has been proven on other platforms and then we have more nurturing content in the middle of the funnel which is the majority of the content we make but this is used the viral one is just used to give us a boost basically to get people into our ecosystem and into our funnel and then we can use dms and many chat to close people to get appointments and to get people onto our newsletter basically so that's as simple as it gets. Obviously, you can get a lot more technical. Um, just some filming tips and some extra tips for you is I use my iPhone to record my short form. I think it's perfectly fine. There, you shouldn't have an excuse now because I hear that way too commonly where people are like, oh, I don't have a camera or I don't have this to record my content. And you can honestly use your phone. It's perfectly fine. Just use the back end of it. Don't use the, the what's it called, like the screen, if that makes sense. And I personally use Cinematic just to blur out the background to make it look cooler. You can buy a $20 ring light um, and then just a cheap microphone. I use, I think, a Rode microphone. I'm using it right now. Um, and that's what I use. But lighting and sound is the most important. Um, preferably sound because people can deal with like not the best visuals. But if the audio isn't good, especially on like long form, it works with short form as well. It's not the best because people need good audio. Um, yeah, so just get good lighting and audio. That's what I'm trying to say. And then extra tips, right, is um, you should be posting minimum one post per day because consistency will compound, which I'll get to in a second. And also, whenever you post a short form, post it to your story because if people see it on your story, that counts as a view, which most people don't know. And then also, you want to do 100 reach outs per day to get people into your ecosystem. So the whole point of reaching out to people, yes, you'll get a few appointments flow through, but you also get the people you reach out to to see your inbound, to see your content. And that is when they'll become nurtured and eventually buy your thing over time um, and then compound interest is really important you can post 50 videos all of them might do not the best but then one will pop off and then they'll basically see other content of yours like I, I explain this so much to people if you're going to be creating long form content or even short form you need a bunch of videos on your channel or on your social media because if one does really well you need to have other videos people can you know like go to and get nurtured so like likewise you may you might watch this video and like it and then you may go to some of my other videos and over time you'll get nurtured and then hopefully you'll buy, but, uh, yeah you'll buy my thing so yeah um that's really important and yeah compounding interest of like content in specific is like crazy so yeah could not recommend that enough um yeah like and subscribe that's all it that's all i have today for you um hopefully you found it valuable and if you are looking to use sub magic and you you know you want to create content and you want to save time then just use my link it would support my channel and it would support me out and i can create better content for you guys and i'll be more motivated to create content for you so yeah that would be appreciated if not don't worry just like and subscribe that's totally cool and you can check out more of my videos up here take care and have an amazing rest of your day.